I'd like to make a scientific comment, um, <laughs> if I may be allowed. Oh, sort of scientific. I love it. I love it. But but think about think about movement in its natural state. Think about think about what when humans evolved. Think about the circumstances of movement, and think about the environments that you're in. Every step was uncertain. Every time you stepped on the ground, there was an unpredictability to exactly how your your foot was going to fall, how things had to be adjusted, and what your next move was going to be. It's inher it was inherently variable. Now think of what the think of a modern environment. You know, we construct a modern environment. We wear a shoe that gives us a relatively predictable feedback from the bottom of our foot. We've paved the world so that almost every every step is predictable. We've done that in part to make it predictable, but that's at our expense. Because what it does is it reduces the variability, it reduces this, the energy and, and all of the ability to adapt in our environment. We basically are learning under ways that constrain us, that change the way our body postures operate, all to our detriment. It's all to our detriment. So one of the, one of the wonderful things I think about what Anat is saying is that we have to get back to really feeling and really experiencing that variability again. And that's a natural way that everybody learned to move. You know, when scientists track how a, how, a, how a baby learns to walk, it's not stereotypic. Every attempt is different. And the reason it's different is because the only way movement can be successful for the child if the, is if they can deal with every contingency that can occur in the real world. So that when they step on a pebble, you know, the brain knows how to adjust. And basically, that's part of recapturing, I think, the natural spirit of how the brain has been designed to move. You couldn't avoid moving your body and spine and adjustments to the real things that are faced in a natural life. And to the extent, extent that in an artificial modern life, we beat that out of it, is to our detriment. So it's all about recovering that versatility, that flexibility, that, that power of adjustment and adaptation and in ways that we use our whole body as it has basically been constructed to use. So that's all I got to say. It's a little sermon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I love it. I love it. And when you spoke, you said, I got back the insight where, where that's the association to vitality. When the brain is like that, when you're, you know, poised to act in this way, when your brain is at the geared, woken up to work like that, you're more vital and a lot of the trouble disappears. So while I cannot go to the trouble and extract it directly, I can bring you to a place where the trouble doesn't exist. 